Hello, I'm Jay with Boss Laser. Today we're going to be going over the troubleshooting of why your laser might not be firing on your Generation 3 and Generation 4 machines. Here's your interlock switch. If the hood is not shut, the laser will not fire. Check your connections in the back and make sure they're tight. If, if your laser is not firing from the interlock switch, when you try to pulse, you'll get an error that reads machine protected, please escape. And that means your interlock switch is not engaged. On your generation three machine, the interlock switch has a magnet at the top of the hood that goes with the interlock switch down at the bottom. They have to align properly or it will not engage and your laser will not fire as well. So what that means, the interlock is engaged when the magnet meets it. And if they don't meet up properly, it will not fire correct. Okay. Another reason your laser might not be firing is your chiller. You should be having this green light right here. It also has an alarm in case the water stops flowing. I'll pinch the line right here. You can see the alarm goes off. If the water isn't flowing properly through the laser, the laser will not fire. The power for the laser derives from the power supply. Here's another one that we use too as well. As you can see, it's got an amber light on right here that tells us the laser is ready to fire. These black boxes, they don't come with the amber light. You want to check your connections right here, make sure they're plugged in good, along with the power that comes into it. The red wire is your positive wire that leads to one side of the tube, and then you got your negative wire that leads to the other side of the tube. If any of these connections are not properly put into place, the laser will not fire. Another reason your laser might not be firing is your connections. You want to make sure your positive connection which is the red wire that comes up, is tight and snug, along with your water chiller line that feeds the water, is on there without any leakage. Also, make sure that your sleeve covers over the top so that it prevents it from arcing. Here's your negative side, which needs to be snug as well, and the water going out to the water chiller. Make sure that's connected without any leaking. So that's it for the common reasons why your laser might not be firing. Have a good day. Yeah.